Okay, so welcome back to more Assassin's Creed, which is probably going to be the final video. What I went, went ahead and did is actually, um, I killed all the cultists. So every one of this, them is dead. I thought I was going to save um, this for the unveil for this video, simply because I, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. I mean, I looked at all the clues and... It pretty much makes sense. There's only one person that really makes sense on who this is. Um, but I, I thought I won't say just yet. I'll uh, wait for the unveil. Now, as far as quests go, I'm actually at the Ancient Forge, just ready to upgrade the spear for the final time. You know, since it is an oddity quest, I thought I'd show it. And then we're going to go ahead and do this a fresh start quest, which will, uh, which I guess will be the final cultist uh, boss. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. So the outfit I've got right now is um, the legendary, the uh, sorry, the Spartan War Hero, the Spartan War Hero outfit, and the swords I've got, I have. Oh, hang on a minute. I think what I have my uh, setup right now is. So I've got the Hades bow, which is a pretty decent bow to be honest, um, and then we've got the. Okay, yeah, yeah, and the Harpy of Perseus. That's after we took down Medusa. All right. So that's gone up to legendary as well. I have the Amazonian circlet as well. I'm using the Amazon braces. Amazon's tacits. Do you know what? I'm going to change to like the full... Even though it's 30 down, I'm going to change to like the full one. And oh, I've got the Amazon greaves right there. So that's level 50. Athenian War Hero Beast, okay. So that's actually level 50. That's pretty, um... Well, that's 49, so that's alright. I'll keep that, I think. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's pretty That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's head to, um... Yeah, fresh start. And then that will be all the Odyssey quests. I mean, I'm... I'm really pleased. I didn't think I was actually going to do this. I was, I don't, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish, like, the... To get even near to the finishing the main story. But to get, like, everything in it, you know, it's pretty cool. It's going to be a long series, but um, that's pretty good. It's, it's going to be good. I mean, Assassin's Creed, I think, should be, like, a long, epic game like this. It's kind of what they used to be before it started going a little downhill. All right, let's get out of here. And then I'll, I'll probably just fast travel over there. I mean, there's no point in, like, sailing. <laughs> That's going to take a minute. Now, with Medusa as well, like, after the Atlantis quest line, we've already had pretty much, like, two... Two sort of endings, I'd say. And then this, since it's, like, level 50, I guess this will be the official... Like, ending, ending, you know what I mean? It's, um, so I'm pretty excited to see what happens with this. Alright, let's, uh, fast travel over there before this boar kills me. Man, I, I had trouble with those boars, I'm telling you. Not as bad as the chickens, though. Although they did put up a good fight. <laughs> oh my god, those chickens. Right, where are we going? It's, it's in, it's down here, isn't it? Or I thought it was. Oh, it's, it's right there. Oh no. That's not it. Where did it go? Oh, it's up here. Okay. <laughs> that was weird.
And welcome back. <laughs> Those loading times, though. All right. Um, it should be just down here. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll get the I'll get the unveil going in a minute. Just let me. I'll I'll get down here and then. All right. Here we go. All right. You ready for this? Like I say, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. If you look at the clues, the ghost is a liar. The ghost is a woman. The ghost plant to death of Pericles. It was that clue there. And controls both sides of the war. The ghost controls Athenian politics. Those clues in particular made me think, like, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I'm pretty sure I know who this is. It, it kind of makes sense. So, uh, let's do this. You've seen it yourself. The future belongs to us now. Old gods and new be praised. Yep. <laughs> that's, ex that's exactly who I thought it was. Aspasia. I mean, it makes sense, to be honest. I mean, it had to be someone you've already met. And it had to be someone, like, relatively important to the plot. So, uh, yeah. I mean, killing all these cultists, man, it took a minute. But I kind of beast mode with it. I actually pulled an all-nighter and just, uh, just went around the whole map. And uh, just murdered everybody. So, uh, that's pretty good. Um, so, Aspasia. So, the ghost is a liar. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. I mean, to be honest, if you think about it, the clues are pretty telling, to be honest. I mean, there's only one... With all those clues, there's only one person it could have been. Functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too, then. It's beautiful. Isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. 
You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty Drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Malaga! So you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. You're just like them. What? Is there really, there's really a romance option in there? That's uh, that's a, a little odd. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's um, that seems a little random to be honest. That there's a, like a romance option there. You're all the same, selfish and fucking destructive. It was different in the beginning. It wasn't about destruction. It was about redirection. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades. And we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Demos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans, and let the time of the Cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you. And in the end, you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Demos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make a reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future is not a dream. I'm here to kill him. Um, oh, man. You know, it's... I mean, she seems... She seems, like, pretty with it. I don't... But uh, in one of the clues, it says she's a liar, so... 
But maybe that means she just lies. Uh, you know what? You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm. Aspasia's circlet, nice. Quest completed, nice. Well, Cole was defeated. Well, that's it then, I guess. Um, let's see if anything else pops up. I don't think it will. That seemed pretty final, but so, let's see as far as quests go. You know what? Did anyone else? Yeah, that's all the that's all the other Odyssey quests done. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty sweet. Did anyone else die when uh, I, I I about died when I saw Ezio right there? <laughs> that was, I mean, Ezio, like the Ezio saga is my favourite set of Assassin's Creed games and Ezio is my favourite protagonist. Always will be. And it's just, when, when I saw him there in that little scene, that was just, uh, I just about had a heart attack. So that's, um, I mean, th I mean, it's pretty cool, man. I managed to get like the whole game, everything into, to do this. Um, I'm really glad I was able to finish the game. And I'm certainly glad I was able to finish it before Red Dead 2 comes out. Now, on that, the next game, I mean, I will... There probably won't be much of anything until that game comes out. I mean, and then that game... It's pretty, Red Dead's pretty much going to take over. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, as I've said it before in like, the other endings of this, but um, I've enjoyed this game immensely. And I'm certainly going to keep playing it. For some time to come. Now, when all the DLC, the downloadable content, the uh, story expansions drop, I will definitely do that as well. And if they uh, like continue in the same vein as Origins, and uh, like do those, because I know that like Ubisoft released those like gods to fight and stuff, so I'm sure they'll do like more boss battles with this, more like updates and stuff like that, which uh, I'll probably do as well if they drop. And uh, yeah, like the story expansions, I'll definitely do. Um, but until then. I will see you in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Alright, take it easy.